It's the sure sign of spring's arrival that is eagerly anticipated in South Korea. More so through the pandemic when, from the first year in 2020, the cherry blossom season coincided with the end of the first surge of the virus. The delicate beauty of the bloom coming to symbolize the hope of new life. It's great to come back with friends and even better with my baby. It's nice coming back to see the flowers after such a long time. Blessed with a third of a million cherry trees along old railway lines and streams, the town of Jinhae has the longest established blossom festival in South Korea. And in this first full year of welcoming back the crowds, it's hoping for nearly five million visitors. With warming temperatures, this southeast corner of South Korea traditionally sees the cherry blossom first, before it rolls north up the peninsula in a wave of colour. But it's already bloomed in Seoul, the second earliest date on record, the earliest being set just two years ago. In this district in Seoul, the annual celebration of the Forsythia bloom has been brought forward a week because the flowers have bloomed early. Neighboring Japan is also experiencing earlier cherry blossom, Tokyo this year equaling the record for the first bloom. And back in the southeast of South Korea, as the city of Gyeongju prepares for its festival, the blossoms are already falling with several days to go. It seems to be blossoming earlier each year, which makes you think about the environment. Nature's beautiful but seemingly ominous barometer of dangerously changing times. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Gyeongju, South Korea.